Hayden asked, is Texas A&M and Miami even going to be a good game? Or are they both going to be bad again? Hayden, it doesn't matter if they're both going to be bad. And I'll tell you why. Because the game is not in week 14. Week 14 doesn't exist. The game is not in week 10. It's in, what is it, Jesse? Is it week two or week three? It's really early in the season is the point. And so you won't even know. We don't even have answers yet because they will not have played multiple teams capable of beating them, at least I don't think. And so what we'll have is we'll have Texas A&M going on the road and they'll head down to Hard Rock Stadium and we'll see Jimbo Fisher and Bobby Petrino and we'll see Mario Cristobal and his two new coordinators and we'll have, we'll have Tyler Van Dyke starting at quarterback. Presumably we'll have Connor Wegman. And this is week two. That's the answer. It's week two. So Miami's not going to lose to Miami of Ohio in week one. A&M's not going to lose to whomstever it is they play in week one. So we're going to have a battle of undefeateds. And that's how I'm going to bill it. The battle of undefeateds. Now, this is on a big Saturday. That's the same Saturday as a lot of those out-of-conference games happen in Texas. This is one of them. Texas A&M is a Texas team that plays a big out-of-conference game this day. Texas at Alabama is on this day. That's going to suck up a lot of the national spotlight, but this is going to be a really, really important game because someone's going to have a big boost of confidence that all the, all the seasonal moves they made have paid off, and then someone else is going to be shouting disaster season ahead. And in reality, someone's going to be 1-1 one and one and someone's going to be 2-0. and oh. I'm looking forward to that game, though. I'm looking forward to that game because we will start to get answers. We won't get the total package of answers, but we will start to get answers. Just imagine in your head right quick, what happens, we'll go two scenarios here. What happens if A&M goes down there and Tyler Van Dyke in this new offense, they hang 37, they win 37 to 20. Can you imagine what the headlines would be? Can you imagine the segment we would do on Late Kick the next night? Now, conversely, what if Jimbo takes A&M in there and Bobby Petrino and his offense put up 37 or 42 or something like that. They put up a bigger number than they were putting up all of last year. And all of a sudden, A&M is looking like an offensive juggernaut and they're properly utilizing the pieces they have on that team. You guys know how college football works. You know what it's like early in the season. You got all these opinions built up and you, you spend months and months and months deciding what you think about teams, but then it changes, boom, just like that, because the season is actually showing you real football. A magazine's not a football game. A spring game's not even a football game. And certainly, summer workouts and, and fall camp practices, those are not football games. So it doesn't really matter what you think you learn from those. So if we start learning something definitive in week two about Tyler Van Dyke and that, and that Miami offense, or, or Wegman and that... Texas A&M offense. I mean, I'm discounting Max Johnson. We'll see if he wins the job. Either way, I'm looking forward to that game. 